I am a lazy cook. And so my quest continues for kitchen appliances that can deliver single servings of freshly cooked food, but where my involvement is to prepare the food and turn up to eat it once the cooking magic has been facilitated by the wonders of science and electricity. My latest purchase is the Yum Asia Panda rice cooker, having disregarded the Yum Asia Suki Mini, despite it being smaller. This was because the Panda marketing explicitly states it cooks half cups of rice and because of its dedicated steaming tray. The Panda is well made, robust and easy to use and I also like the design which fits on the kitchen top without taking up huge amounts of space. In the box with the cooker you get a couple of spatulas, the steam tray, a measuring cup and the necessary mains cable. You also get a very comprehensive user manual which not only guides you through the various cooking cycles but includes some basic recipes. The cooker has a steam release valve on the top of the lid to control how much steam stays in the cooker and at the back there is a clear plastic drip tray which cunningly collects the condensed steam from around the lid. There is a fixed carry handle, a spatula holder moulded onto the case and the internal stainless steel lid is removable for cleaning. There are a number of preset functions for long, short and brown rice as well as for quick cook, slow cook, porridge, steam and cake cooking and the option to keep food warm. The buttons require a committed push so no risk of setting anything in motion accidentally. The start button also doubles as an on off button and the keep warm function has its own button. The menu button allows you to scroll through the various options and the preset button means you can delay cooking for up to 24 hours. I like the fact that you can modify the preset non-rice cooking times using the hour and minute buttons. To try the cooker out I wanted to see how it did with simply cooking my Toyama white short grain rice and so I used my Just Me 0.3 litre soup maker to cook the vegetables with miso to flavour. Not sure about how much water to add for what can be a quite sticky rice, I stuck to the instructions and went for the one cup of rice with one cup of water option. The rice was just right as I expected given the reputation of the Yum Asia cookers and came out perfectly formed. A lot is made of the fuzzy logic of their cookers and the seven phases of the cooking cycle which I have to say seemed to work very well. However it did seem to work so well that cooking one cup of rice only took 30 minutes instead of the advised 40 minutes. One cup of rice for a 67 year old with a slower metabolism is too much for one meal so I next tried half a cup of rice whilst using the Just Me soup maker to cook the veg again. This time the rice was ready after only 22 minutes and it was a tad al dente but delicious and next time I will add a bit more water as per the user manual. So I have to say I'm very pleased so far and we'll now move on to trying the other cooking options especially the steam function to make complete meals without the need of another kitchen appliance. As usual I will leave any updates in the description as time goes by. It's all good.